now let us see the next option called extend elements to intersection this option is used again to extend or to trim a particular line up until another boundary for example we have this line right now over here i can select this line and i can extend it till this line while trimming this line as well i'll show it over here, here with an example i'm selecting the option extend elements to intersection after which i'll click on this line and now i need to select the second line till where you want to extend the first line also the second line which you click will be trimmed at the intersection point click over here and you get this line in this way you have extended the first line and you have trimmed the second line till the intersection i'll go with undo and let me choose the same option again extend elements to intersection i'll select this line and this time i'll click over here and wherever you click that region will remain the other side will get trim i'll again select this line and i'll click over here in this way you will be extending the first line you will be trimming the second line go with undo that is about your extend elements to intersection option i'll select this and i'll click over here this time both the lines got trimmed you can see even over here this line and this line both are intersecting i can select extend elements to intersection option and use this to trim both the lines i'll select it over here and after that i'll select it over here in this way the the two sides have been trimmed off that is your extend elements to intersection option let me go with redo oh, sorry undo all right now the next option over here is extend element to intersection the only difference between this previous one and the next one is over here when you were extending earlier when you were extending the first line the second line was getting trim whereas when you choose the second option called extend element to intersection you are only going to modify the first element regardless of the position orientation inclination etc of the second element the second element will remain stationary as it is without getting modified the first element is going to extend or trim till the second element i'll select this extend element to intersection that is the reason this is used in singular term extend element to intersection whereas over here it was extend elements in the plural form that is both the elements were getting modified over here only the single element the first element is going to get modified all right extend element to intersection click over here and click on this line the first line gets extended till the second line the second line does not get trim i'll go with undo i'll use the same two settings for this thing extend elements to intersection select this line and select this line and you can see the first line gets extended the second line gets trimmed and do so that is the difference between extend element to intersection and elements to intersection i'll select this i'll select this and select this line and it's going to come only till that intersection portion select this select this this one and this one in this way whichever two lines you choose only the first line will have the effect that is about your extend elements to intersection option right. after this we have the trim elements option let me first delete these lines let us create a few lines in this way after creating these intersecting lines next what we'll do is we'll use the trim elements option the first option i'm selecting this after selecting this i'm going to select the cutting element you can read over here the prompt is asking you to select the cutting element i'm going to select this element as the cutting element after selecting that element as a cutting element wherever you click 
on whichever line which is intersecting that that portion is going to be trimmed off select it over here and it gets deleted in this way select this line over here click on this side and it gets deleted over here if you go with right click it will act like undo over here in your trim option right now if I go with right click it will act as undo I'll just come out of the command again I'm selecting trim option I'm selecting this line as a cutting element select this after which when you're asked to identify trim elements I'm going to select this line this way it got trimmed I'm going to select this line on this side so this side gets trimmed click on this after this if you just come out of the command directly that is if I take the cursor you'll get back the last line because we have not yet accepted it in order to accept over here you will have to use your left mouse button unfortunately it's a little confusing but once you start using it a number of times you will get used to it I'll go with undo I'm using the trim elements option selecting I'll again select this line as a trimming element sorry uh, cutting element after which I'll click on this side after selecting this use your left mouse button to accept if you go with right mouse button you will be coming out of the command so you'll be going with undo or if you even take the cursor it will act like undo you need to accept it using your left mouse button all right now suppose I want to delete this line the line over here between this line and this line when I want to do that I'll first have to select this line press down my control button on the keyboard and select the second line as well after selecting both the lines what we have basically done is we have selected two cutting elements after which I'll go for the trim elements option select this and now select the element to trim you need not select the cutting elements now you will directly select the elements to trim I'll select this side and this inside line is going to be trimmed in order to accept it you can go with left click or if you want to trim a few more lines for example I can trim this line as well I'll click over here and even that gets trimmed if I go with right click now I'll go with undo for the first uh, second line if I go with left click I'll be accepting it that is about your trim elements option all right let us go with undo Control z okay i'll select this line press down my control button and this line i'll select trim elements and i can delete this portion or i can delete this inside portion or i can delete this inside portion after that for the last change that you have made in order to accept it you will have to go with left mouse button if you go with right mouse button you will be going with undo for the last option only you cannot undo this region if I go with right click now nothing happens you can only undo the last action over here I can of course go with control Z and undo it using my keyboard okay so this was about your trim elements option the next option over here is entirely trim the one important difference over here between trim elements and entirely trim is suppose when you were using trim elements and when you had to delete this inside region of this line this portion and this portion what you had to do is you had to use the mouse select this line press down control select this line after which you are using the trim option and then selecting these lines in this way again left click to accept it now instead of doing all this what you can do over here is select the entirely trim option okay this is the entirely trim option in this you have two modes first we'll go with the advanced mode wherein you're supposed to select cutting elements I'm selecting this line and this line as the cutting elements after selecting the cutting elements you can go with right click or you can directly click on this select elements to trim now I'm selecting this element, this element and this element to be trimmed. After selecting the three, go with left mouse button. And then right mouse button. In this way, you will have trimmed the line. 
I'll stop this session over here. Let us continue in Telegram in the next session.